My name is Kevin Gurr and I'd like to introduce you to our new Sentinel Rebreather. The philosophy behind the system is that it's a, a three level unit. Level one is a 40 meter limit or no decompression diving. Level two is a 70 meter single gas diamond. And level three is a 100 meter multiple gas diamond. So with a level one system, the concept is that if you have a problem, you can easily switch to open circuit bailout and swim directly to the surface. So the DSV has a built-in open circuit regulator into the base. The three different levels have levels of software between them, which are upgradable via a pin system, and also different levels of hardware. For instance, on level one, you wouldn't have the gas blocks for a manual bypass of oxygen and diluent, whereas you do on levels two and levels three. And on level three, you also have the ability to isolate the ADV and the oxygen solenoid, which you wouldn't on a level two system. All three levels of the unit come with a head-up display at the front. There's another head-up display at the rear for teaching and body diving. There is a primary display. Levels two and three also have a passive backup display, which has its own power system. On the level one system, the diluent cylinder can be bigger than this. This is actually configured as a level two, level three set. So the onboard bailout can be fed from that. This foot extends down here, so a larger three litre tank can be put in. In Europe, this can be a high pressure tank, but in the US, it would have to be a low pressure tank, therefore limiting the depth of the bailout capability. All three levels of the unit have an automatic diluent addition valve here. There's a simple diaphragm and a tilt lever in here that injects the unit into the system. In this configuration of the unit, the counter lung is in the rear. It's a single back mounted counter lung enclosed in the plastic casing. The breathing circuit on the unit is exhale this side, down in through the canister and into the filter, back up around the outside of the filter, and out here. The counter lung itself is actually teed on to the inhale side of the CO2 filter. The hoses themselves are secured by a quarter turn security lock and then a simple push button to release, making cleaning and maintenance very simple. Down in the base of the unit here, there's the overpressure valve. This can be set at the surface to the preferred pressure and in any orientation, no matter which way around you are in the water, this will always dump at exactly the same pressure. This is a unique design that enables you to do this. Whenever gas is evacuated from the system, any water as well that collects in the water trap in the base here is also expelled. On this side, you have the electronics pod, the lithium ion rechargeable battery system, and the oxygen solenoid. All three are outside of the breathing loop. The absorbent canister itself uses a canister duration monitoring system which we have under license from the United States Navy. This gives a simple fuel gauge display on the wrist unit so you can see the amount of absorbent remaining. The absorbent canister itself also has an in-out detector so it knows when the filter is installed. That's useful for two reasons. First of all it will tell you if you forget to put the filter in but also whenever it sees an out condition it assumes it must be in pieces and therefore it can do an oxygen sensor calibration in the background using air as a calibration gas. Set point control on the unit can be set to automatic or user selectable. That means on automatic when you go just below the surface it will slowly as you descend increase the set point. When you get to target depth, if you've been there a few minutes it will automatically switch over. As you ascend and complete decompression it will slowly reduce its set point until you get back to the surface. The manual bypass blocks for oxygen and diluent are positioned on the shoulder harness here. On a level three unit, it's possible to buy an off-board plug-in. Any gas you then put into the system not only routes in manually via the push button, but is also available through the whole automation, through the oxygen solenoid and the ADV. This configuration, as I said, is a back mount counter lung. There will be an option next year where you can actually remove the cases. The cylinders are attached to the side of the canister here. 
and then you can plug in an over shoulder counter lung system into the single uh, counter lung connection point. The counter lungs housed in a cordura bag and sits over the shoulders and attaches to the harness. This is the primary display. You have large PO2, canister remaining across the top, and this is giving an error message because it knows it doesn't have a filter in. You have the content of the oxygen, the diluent cylinder, the battery level, and a warning area here. By pushing the right button on the surface, you can get into the menus. Where the standard features that you find in a VR3 and a few other rebreather features can be found.